Hey community groups, welcome back. We are so glad you're here. Hi everybody. And I hope that you've got recovered from the turkey dinner and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're excited to be pressing back in with each other this week. So um, if you've got your Bibles, we're just going to jump right in and read the passage from Mark 6, verse 35 to 44. Again, just take some time, read it, uh, listen for words, phrases, parts that really capture, and, uh, and then we'll move on from there. Hey, welcome back. Uh, so we, first question that we're going to press into is around the idea of problems. And one of the things we asked uh, in the message on Sunday was how do you solve problems? What What is the problems that you're facing? Uh, and so Jesus was faced with a problem, right, in this situation where all of a sudden there are all these people, 5,000 families, not enough food, the disciples... Uh, graciously and and being nice want to send them away and mm -hmm. jesus says well why don't you fix it you do it mm -hmm. and they go how so so jesus is faced with the problem of needing to feed five thousand families and he he takes this approach um he he looks to heaven so it's this this looking up to god he gives thanks and then he he produces the solution this miraculous feeding of all these people so good. Yeah. yeah what yeah. what do you hear yeah, I like this resonates too with what with what Joel mentioned on Sunday about the upside down kingdom, and that's the kingdom that we're modeling. And so, as Joel mentioned, um, where we are called to give sacrificially, when it doesn't make sense, we still give, things like that. And where we thank God before the miracle happens, where we don't have to wait for the miracle to then thank God, but we can thank God in, in our waiting, in our time where we're still pressing in and waiting for the miracle to happen. Um, so in your groups, take a couple minutes just to think through some ways and discuss um, how you might face, when you face problems, how you might deal with them. What's your approach to, um, to solving problems? So it's interesting if you uh, read through scripture, you can find numerous places, numerous texts uh, that talk specifically about thankfulness. You, you find people who are thankful. Uh, and so when, when God prompted me to go back to the story of Joseph, um, you don't hear clearly the word thankful or, or right. about him being thankful, but you actually see it in his life, that he, he lived a thankful life mm -hmm. towards God. And so you think of, of his life and from childhood, he was favored by his dad and by God. Yeah. And then uh, that favoritism. Um, so I think, I think there's good favor and there's bad favor and that's another conversation, but mm -hmm. uh, there's good favor from God and then maybe bad favoritism from Jacob, which led to jealousy from the sons, which ended up him being sold. Uh, and moved to Egypt, and then in Egypt, in and out of jail, mm -hmm. as he's again falsely accused, um, and, but ends up finding himself with uh, under the the highest seat in the whole whole country of Egypt under mm -hmm. Pharaoh, right? Mm -hmm. um, the place where he's making all the decisions, and um, and then you see him have the chance to re-enter with his family. His mm -hmm. brothers come. Um, to buy some food because they're out of the f out of food, and uh, and Joseph has the opportunity. He, he had the opportunity. He could have done anything to them. He could have destroyed totally, them. Yeah. Um, but his uh, his choice was to not be God, and he says that in in chapter fifty. We mentioned we read that on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So his his life is is pretty amazing. So remarkable. Joseph is one of my favorite stories in the Bible, and I think from it we see. Very clearly, he led a life of suffering and trials, and no, no doubt about it, that it was a harsh life. Um, we also do get to see the other side of that, where we see God's powerful display of His favor, and His His ability to um, provide solutions for Joseph's problems. And so, in that, um, we see Joseph to this attitude of thankfulness towards God. Um, and this attitude of thankfulness towards God, keeping us primed and ready to continue going and being ready for when God is ready to use us um, and ready to partner with God at all times. Um, so what would it look like in your own life to be primed and ready to receive God's solutions for your own life? So we, we've been talking about this idea of thankfulness and how key it is, right? And it, again, it's not thankfulness for thankfulness sake. Mm -hmm. It's being thankful and doing what Jesus did where he looked up to God. So thankful because of who God is mm -hmm. and then part, really partnering with what God is doing in and around us, what, what he wants to do with our world. 
Um, so Hebrews 11 gives a couple of glimpses into what faith is. And I'm going to read one and then Danielle will read one. Um, so 11 verse 1 actually is now faith is confidence in what we hope for. Mm-hmm. So uh, what is it that you hope for? And this is where it's important that we're actually in, in tune and united with God, that we're hoping for what he hopes for. That's kind of the key in seeing these miracles come because he wants them, uh, but it's for his glory. It's because of his love. Um, so confident, uh, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So it's mm-hmm. being assured that the things that we're hoping for, who God is, how he wants to provide, it, it's having this this belief, this understanding that it's it's going to come to pass, right? So That's key as we're so we're looking at how do we live thankful lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, the writer of Hebrews in eleven six says, "And without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that He exists." and that he rewards those who seek him. So take a few minutes in your groups and discuss this idea of what does faith mean to you? What is your understanding of faith? And secondly, how does having faith connect with being thankful? Welcome back. So if you're here and you've still got a little bit of time left, we've got some verses for you that your leaders will have. So I just encourage you to spend some time reading through those, um, specifically pertaining to this idea of thankfulness. And if you don't have time... (laughs) Then what you're going to do is just move to wrapping up. And so we've been talking about problems and and maybe some of them have come up as you've been discussing and dialoguing. But Mm -hmm. this is a time where we want you to share some of the problems that you're facing and then to pray for each other. Uh, And just remembering, um, we take the model of Jesus where he was thankful, he looked to Jesus, he didn't look to the problem, looked to Mm -hmm. Jesus and then saw the solution. So have a great week, bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.